across Occidental Coffee. Wow. So we are really welcoming you in our uh, family. <laughs> Always rely on 7 Eleven when we're in civilization. I got a toasted sandwich, pepperoni, and double cheese. But more importantly, Red Bull. Yes, let's go. <laughs> we have about a four hour drive to Iloilo. Probably gonna be exhausted after that, so uh, probably just gonna take the day off there and uh, edit and maybe have some good food. And early in the morning, a colot. We got a pit stop halfway there. Got this really nice chicken, rice, and rice. get to Iloilo as fast as possible. I'm pretty tired. We need some rest. Ooh, made it to Iloilo city. It is 1047 which means it took us about uh, that five, about five and a half hours with the stops and breaks. So that's pretty decent. A couple of hundreds of kilometers. Time to check into the hotel. Shower, take a nap. Whew. Awesome drive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the last day of the trip. We're in Iloilo City. My other GoPro broke, so I couldn't uh, film anything with it on the road. And I was pretty tired. So I got a really good sleep last night. I fell asleep like maybe 8 p.m. and now it's 5 a.m. Gotta go to the bike and uh, drive for about an hour. 30 minutes or something to the port or take a ferry or to Bacolot. If you've never been to Iloilo, it's a beautiful city. There's a lot of buzzing vibe, quite modern, a lot of food. But if you're like me that just drove 300 kilometers, you just go to sleep. <laughs> Such a perfect time. They got the tickets, port fee, coast guard, straight into the Roro. And we are almost in Bacolo in about 20 more minutes. This Roro is super cheap, only 350 pesos for the bike.
Nice one, huh? We got a few KTMs in the house. We're stopping for Cafe Epe, Cafe Pepe. It says native coffee, so Necros actually makes a lot of coffee beans and uh, it's excellent. So let's uh, have a coffee at breakfast, I'm starving. Macolot, Necros, Occidental coffee, pure coffee flag, pepe. no sugar. They make the beans in the mountain, right? Yeah. It's, it's from here, right? From the mountain, of course. Wow. That's a kick. That's a little coffee. Mm, that's good. It almost you feel something on the tongue, even. Like. They brew their own coffee here. You feel it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Immediately. Wow. That's good. Super awesome! Now I'm uh, connected to a large group of uh, riders across Negros and Cebu. If anything happens, accidents, I can always call someone and uh, get some assistance. So just having that network of safety and friends and roads, it's awesome guys, it's awesome! manner stands I've come across so every time I go from Bacolod or to Bacolod you see them along the highway here so we're gonna get the uh, really peak sweep sugarcane factory or mill and the steam coming up there is them melting all the sugarcane to create the uh, world famous Philippine sugar it is harvesting season so there are tons of trucks like this as you could probably see in some of the clips they're everywhere and this plant is really cool because it's using the energy from all the solar so there's a huge field there uh, behind the camera I'll show you here these are all solar panels and there's just fields and fields of them. So we're about one hour away from home. Uh, I'm getting a little bit tired in my back, which is, uh, or lower back, and that's a good sign. Usually I get tired in my neck, but uh, I think this helmet, my new helmet is preventing that because it's made out of 100% carbon fiber. So light and doesn't uh, put a lot of weight on my neck. So that's awesome. I'm back in Darwin at Pura Vida Sea Explorers. This is my go-to spot. I just had to end off the uh, <laughs> video there. I was so freaking tired getting home, but uh, in the end it was so rewarding. Awesome trip in all places. I think this is the first time here in the Philippines when I, when I get back home, I really like, oh, my, my heart fulfills. I feel this is my spot.
completely right now. <laughs> 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 And I believe that we will be bringing the boat in to the Philippines middle of May, that we can start maybe June. As the explores uh, family, uh, when it comes into uh, 23, that's the news. So we are really welcoming you in our uh, family. Good morning! We're gonna try out the new camera, the Insta360. I don't know if I'm recording us <laughs> because I can't see. But we're gonna jump onto the bike and drive all the way up to our land and see how fast we can get there on the new motorbike. Still haven't decided the name yet, but uh, thank you for all the comments. I think we're gonna pick one very soon. Let's go! I can't wait to use this! New helmet! So Safety first, good for the jaw, mm -hmm. super safe. Perfect. Mm. How does it feel? Really yeah, how does it feel? Good. Yeah, in the back? Yeah. Beautiful today. Okay, we are back at it up in the land and we have a few things to check out today. We have to measure the width of the land again because we're estimating about 27 meter in width with all the uh, building constructions we're gonna do. So we have to be 100% sure. We got June and Rolando with us today. We also had a really great test drive coming up here on the motorbike and it was raining today. So everything is super slippery and wet. And we pretty much found out uh, this one section of the road, it is impossible to drive if it's wet. So uh, at least we got that experience and knowledge before we go into full, full speed of uh, construction. But let's check out the land width first and uh, see what we can actually do with it. We're also checking uh, out how much material we need to buy for the road because we have to have a culvert and then we need some machinery and estimating the cost of that. That's in our deal with the land, is to uh, construct the road connecting to the land. So we're finding out that information. And then I actually, I hired Junes, the engineer, to do take over the job because the other guys are so slow, they're not doing anything. So um, I stepped in and they, we gotta go full speed, guys. It's taking too long. <laughs> so now we're measuring from this point to there. That's where our marker is. And that's the maximum width of the land. So at least we know that information here from the top. How much is that, Jules? That's 
that's 8 meters next is 16 meters here so it looks like about 25 or something almost 30 meters that's good 24 31 now you said 24 plus 7 that's 31 31 yes yes we made it awesome so now we're measuring the length of the house and where the end of the master bedroom is this way we can see where the uh, house is actually gonna end over there like three meters. Okay. So we're really going far into it. That's 19. Mm -hmm. Okay, that means Jules, we should move the house further back because this is such a nice area. Yeah, we should not fill the house in the pool here. So we need to move the house further back. All right, that was great. Now we have all the measurement for the second time with a slight expansion to the house. And uh, now we're at the landowners, the soldiers, and uh, we're just going over how much material we need. We need like a small bulldozer to come up here to fix things. But this part is the main issue. Big problem, can't drive trucks here. So we're gonna put a culvert in here. And just to wrap it up, we have, we're gonna have the barranca actually gonna help us with uh, culvert and stuff down there. So that's uh, complete, but let's see how long that's gonna take because we might've stepped in and <laughs> do Rosa, we'll see. That's all good. This is, uh, you can see also the tire on the, uh, on the bike. That's, that's only this road here, about 50 meters. It's a huge problem, but we'll make it work. Time to go back down. Love it up here, guys. I can't wait.